Hey guys, how's it going? It's Rust Belt Collector here, and um, well, this is quite an interesting video to be making. I'm, I'm actually really happy and excited to be making it. Okay, so a little bit of backstory here. Um, a while ago, somebody asked me to open up a P.O. Box. They were like, hey, you should do a P.O. Box, you know, that way people can send in things to the channel. And I was like, sure, okay, I don't think anybody will, but I'll do it. And um, I did, and no one sent anything in, and that's fine. Like, I didn't expect anyone to, but I did it more as just like someone requested it. And uh, anyways, today I was watching, uh, ironically enough, JCC2224's most recent P.O. Box unboxing, and uh, I, I was on my way to the post office, and I got there, and what should be in my P.O. Box but my very first P.O. Box unboxing? Um, if you care to know, that's my P.O. Box if you want to send anything into the channel. But I actually kind of know what this is. I was, I was expecting it, but I wasn't actually expecting anyone to send anything in. But here we are, and like I said, I kind of know what's in here, and that's why I brought this guy out. In the video from JCC, he got the, uh, the Bark Trooper, like the 2004-2005 Bark Trooper. That was a figure that I had for a very long time, and I went looking for it because I was like, oh man, I'm gonna have that be like the intro figure. I'm gonna have him standing there, you know, as just like a little intro piece. And I don't have it anymore. I don't know what I did with it. I must have sold it at some point, maybe when the value spiked up or something. I don't know. I don't know why I would do that because I've been trying to complete every vintage Lego clone trooper as like a collection piece. You know, the old school ones where you have to have like a black Lego head behind it because there's no visor molded into the helmet. I've been trying to complete those, like, one of every single one, and I thought I had the Bark Trooper, but I don't. So, anyways, um, the next best thing was to pull out one of my first customs, and this is one that I did a long time ago. I printed off a decal off of the internet, and uh, I printed it out on paper, and I glued the paper onto a Lego body. I sharpied the helmet, I gave him a little visor, I clipped off the crest, and I made my own Republic Commando. Um, that's just what I did. Oh yeah, there's like scars on his face too. I used to do this all the time with my Legos. I think most of the Legos I had as a kid got customized to some degree, um, eventually. This is just like a backpack where I clipped off the, uh, the roll on the top. And yeah, I just wanted to show this guy off just as like a little intro piece because what is in here are Lego customs. And I'm really excited to show them off because they are amazing. So I've got two little stands here to put them on, and yeah, here we go. This was sent to me by um, Emerald Figures, or I think on the packaging, I'm not gonna show his address, but um, he uh, he labeled it Clone Warrior. Um, so I don't know if he goes by Clone Warrior or if he goes by uh, Emerald Figures, but either way, dude, thank you so much for sending this in. This is gonna be really awesome. I'm excited to show it off and uh, show everybody your amazing talent with these figures. All right, up first, there is a letter. Read first, please. I shall. Shall read this first. Okay. Hi, Rust Belt Collector. I have been a fan for a long time now, and I wanted to give a custom for a long time as well. I love the channel and Instagram. We both love Star Wars and The Mandalorian, so I have made you two custom Lego figures to celebrate Season 2 of The Mandalorian. I made you a Muddy Mandalorian and Mayfield. So yeah, from Emerald Figures on Instagram. And then he drew these awesome, oops, he drew these awesome little pictures, the Mandalorian there in Lego form, and a cute little baby Yoda. This is awesome, dude. Thank you so much. I'm gonna save this letter. Now let's take a look at these figures. Um, he did send me pictures on Instagram. He was too excited to, uh, to share these with me, so he sent me a picture on Instagram. Like the letter said, there's Mayfield and Muddy Mandalorian. And first up we have Mayfield. Oh, dude, this looks awesome. Oh, and he, he included bases, so I don't even need these. Get, get out of here, bases. Let's see, got Mayfield here. And let me just say, his sculpting work on these from the pictures is amazing, and in person, it is even better. Check this out. So he did a Mayfield, the, uh, the bounty hunter from episode four, I think. Um, I, th I think that's right. So he's got like the straps here on his arms. He's got the straps on his chest. And then, of course, on the back here, he's actually sculpted this, uh, the blaster, like the auto blaster that Mayfield uses. And that looks awesome. Oh, and you even painted the boots on. That's fantastic, dude. Let's show this up close here. 
I don't know what the head is from. It looks like it could be Obi-Wan Kenobi, but I don't know for sure. It's definitely a licensed figure because it's like in the skin tone, but I don't know if it's Obi-Wan. It looks like it used to be a reversible head, so you, you scraped off the other side, which is really smart because you got to get like the, the angry look of Mayfield as he's coming in guns blazing. But yeah, this is really, really cool. Gave him like a Han Solo uh, pants there, so he's got the, the holster strap. That is so, so cool. Both these figures are definitely going on my display. I'm actually moving between rooms right now, so we're switching uh, where my studio is. So all my figures are in boxes, but the minute that I get my displays back up, this guy is going up on my Lego display, because that is really, really cool. Oh, and dude, you included this. This is awesome. Uh, so he found this Lego card. I honestly don't know what this is from. Uh, the 2020 Lego Group Create World. And it says Sam. And it's a, a redhead character. And my name is Sam. And I am a redhead. This is awesome. So this is definitely going to go like I'll, I'll put these back there like that. So I'll have like the Mandalorian and Mayfield and I'll have that card behind it because that is so, so cool. Thank you so much for sending that because that is really... I don't even know, like, what did, the, what did this come from? Like, I've never seen a Lego trading card. It says here that Sam's challenge is to taste every food under the sun just to find his favorite. There's got to be more food than mustard and ketchup. Well, um, I don't know if that is my life's goal, but I definitely do like food, and I do like ketchup and mustard. So, I mean, overall, the only thing that it's missing is my glasses. I wear, I wear glasses because I'm kind of can't see without them. So, you know, that's actually a pretty good likeness. And here we have the Mandalorian himself. Let's take a look at this, because I'm really interested to see like what you used as a base for the character. Um, in the pictures I couldn't quite tell, and the helmet looked really detailed. So there's that, there's the base. Dude, I don't actually know. What did you use for the base? Is that like um, an area light custom helmet or something? I don't know. But man, you did a great job with this. Let's show this one even more up close because he did a really, really good job with this. You've got the Mandalorian helmet, which I think, like I said, is an Aerolite helmet. Correct me if I'm wrong, Emerald Figures. Then he's like used clay or something, I, I assume, to sculpt on the chest. and It's all battle damaged. There's like blood mixed with mud all over him on his arm there. And then he's even painted and sculpted on the Scarif uh, Stormtrooper shoulder pad there. And let me try and get that back into focus. There we go. And he did the same thing with the legs. He's got the the stormtrooper or the I don't I don't really know. It's the the leg armor, you know, like the thigh armor there, the thigh armor there, and then there's just mud caked on everywhere. And then he's custom made this cape, which looks great by the way, painted with some nice mud smears and holes torn in it. And he's even got the strap running around the back for the blaster. And of course, we can't forget that he does come with the blaster. It's not painted or anything, but that's totally fine. It looks awesome. You've got like the brown there, so that kind of works both as the blaster's like, color, but it also works as um, like mud. You know, it's brown, brown and muddy. But yeah, this looks so, so cool. And let's see, is there... Oh, just a black head. That's fine. I didn't know if you did like a custom face or not, but that looks so cool. And I would keep the helmet on anyways, so there's no sense in having a face under there to begin with. You did a fantastic job with all the weathering and the mud, the blood, all that stuff, dude. You did a great job with these. I personally have never sculpted on, on Lego figures because it's such a small scale. It kind of intimidates me. So I think you did a fantastic job. And I don't know if at this current moment you have posted your other customs yet, but definitely do that. I will link down in the description to Emerald's uh, social media, his Instagram. Check out his other customs because he's done a normal Mandalorian. He's done Moff Gideon. Uh, I think he did Baby Yoda and a few others. I don't remember all the ones you did. I know you sent me pictures, so just check out the link down in the description because you'll love his other customs. He did some fantastic Mandalorian characters. Oh, you did Cara Dune. That was another one you did. Um, but yeah, all those great season one characters. I'm sure once season two comes out, you will do even more characters, and I cannot wait to see them. But yeah, there we go. This is the first ever P.O. Box unboxing on the Rust Belt Collector channel. And I would say for the first ever P.O. Box, it's pretty awesome. I mean, these figures are so, so cool, and I can't wait to put them on display with 
my other Lego figures. Thank you again, Emerald, for sending these in. I really, really do appreciate it. And to anybody else who might be interested, the P.O. Box address is down in the description. But as always, guys, thanks for watching, and I will catch you all in the next video. Thank you.